Hi there, my name is Christopher Kennedy and I'm an interior designer in Palm Springs, California. And this is my forever home. I can't wait to go inside and give you a tour. The front doors spill right into this expansive great room, which looks out onto the golf course. This house itself is actually 3,200 square feet and built in 1978. As a designer, I'm often known for my use of color. In my own home, I wanted it a bit more restful, and I wanted to honor the 1970s era of the house. To set the foundation for the room, I chose this sumptuous shag rug. Nothing says 70s vintage like shag. The curved sofas are covered in a beautiful white boucle. We see the texture repeated in the throw pillows. The chandelier is in the brutalist style which dates back to the 1970s, and they're super collectible. Eventually, most guests make their way to the bar, so let's go check that out. Our life calls for lots of entertaining, so we made the bar larger, and to make it a bit of a contrast, we clad the whole thing in this beautiful granite called Belvedere. One of my favorite details is the brass that we inlaid into the granite. The finishing touch of this bar is these beautiful sculptural bar stools, and they're made in this gorgeous walnut with leather on top. The conversation always turns to this beautiful fireplace, which is literally and figuratively the centerpiece of the room. I chose to clad the fireplace in this gorgeous cork. There is gold flex that lets it really shine and sparkle at night. I added this lighting fixture with all these bulbs that shine this beautiful glass table. The final design element in my dining room is these vintage 1970s chairs. But between you and me, I chose it for my husband, David, who's a big Trekkie. I mean, can't you just see Captain Kirk or Lieutenant Uhura sitting in this chair. It has that perfect captain's chair 1970s feel. In selecting the details and materials for my kitchen, I began with a cabinetry. I selected an oak material in this beautiful sand color finish, which really references the desert landscape. These mirror tiles in an antique finish add some shine, they bounce the light around, and they just give enough nostalgia for Palm Springs. It's a bit on the nose, but I love how these palm tree tops just really reference all the palm trees that we see outside these picture windows. Sitting in our breakfast room, we have views of the San Jacinto Mountains, and I'm looking at the 15th tee. Golf course, mountains, palm trees, that's pretty much what Palm Springs is all about. I believe in letting your house tell your story. The artwork that you see behind me is the story of my 20 years with David. Nothing is better than coming home and cozying up in this dark, really intimate media room. And of course, cozying up to this guy makes it perfect. I mean, dogs always make a house a home. Our primary bedroom has three large sliding glass doors, which we love for the natural light. I got a bit creative and I floated the bed in the middle of the room and it faces the fireplace. To simulate the headboard feeling, I added this incredible beaded curtain. It gives the bed some privacy while also providing definition. It's a little bit sexy, a little bit glam, a little bit rock and roll, and I just love it. Life in Palm Springs is all about being outside. I designed a fire pit, a pool for those lazy Sundays, and of course the mountain view and the palm tree tops just really embody that quintessential resort style living. All right guys, thank you so much for visiting my forever home in Palm Springs. I hope you love it as much as I do, and I'll see you at the next property. Well, that was so much fun, but the fun doesn't have to end here. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for the best open house has to offer.